Watching a new temporary roof being put in place at the world-famous Glasgow School of Art brings proud memories flooding back for Fire Chief David Goodhue. It was on May 23rd that he commanded a force of 120 firefighters who risked their lives tackling a blaze which threatened to engulf and destroy one of Scotland's iconic buildings and the treasures within. Realistically, it took us about five or six hours to actually get the fire under control. We held the fire, stopped it getting bigger for a number of hours, but we had to hold our position uh, to ensure that the fire couldn't get any bigger and stop it, where it, you know, and stop it effectively where it was within the building. The inferno gutted the library, but incredibly more than 70% of the school's artwork survived, thanks to the expertise of the firefighting teams. It was important that we undertook salvage to start getting the important artefacts out to stop them becoming involved in fire or indeed by damage by smoke, heat or water. So they were able to tell us where the really important artefacts were and we sent crews in to start removing those from the building straight away. It'll cost somewhere in the region of £35 million to rebuild the Charles Rennie Macintosh structure and restore its famous interior. But no true value can be placed on the courageous work of the firefighters and salvage crews on that fateful day. I think the fire service and everybody that attend this fire is immensely proud and everybody works completely seamlessly, uh, tirelessly uh, and we had to stop people coming to the fire as opposed to uh, uh, asking extras to come on. Effectively people were ringing up off duty and volunteering to book back on duty to come and assist any way they could. Our Unsung Heroes Special Award goes to the Glasgow Firefighters.